Aided by Dark Spirit? Oh, well, there's an immersion breaker for the cutscene. Thanks a bunch of slacks. Veldstadt with a big old big golden bell chime. You're gonna beat me to death with that many a time, aren't you? You, my good man, are gonna be a walk in the goddamn park. I am sure of it. Unless I just stand there and get swiped right in the bloody face. No, 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 no. You keep doing whatever you want to do. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna keep doing this and cheap it out. Why don't I just use ranged weaponry instead of breaking my damn sword? Stupidest thing I could ever possibly do. Oh shit, I just wasted all my stamina. That was a really bad idea. Oh god, please. No, 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 no. All right. I underestimated you. I do that a lot. Okay, this was a really bad idea. Seeing as now he's got ranged ability. R great. Might want to close the gap before he bloody closes your grave. I meant coffin. But goddamn, it's the same thing. Get out of here! Oh no! Ugh, fucking hell! That was great. My hesitation killed me. Not you. My hesitation. Once again, stupidity one, Veldstat zero. I really should have walked in with my freaking thing equipped, that way I could have actually done some damage to you without having to equip this. But whatever, it's fine, because you're just nonchalantly walking as I nonchalantly stand in the way of your massive bell chime. No, 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 oh shit, shh, that was my own stupidity again. I, I always do this thing, right, where I, I do really well on the first try, and then the second one, I just lose all sense. Well, that was fortunate. I rolled into it and didn't get hit, and that was just fortunate enough to just miss me by a margin. Now, whatever you do, don't do don't do exactly what you're doing, little dickhead. Enough with it. Uh oh, can I go straight down? Oh. <laughs> I thought he was doing the home in hexes as opposed to the tidal wave. You live? and you learn. Although in this instance, I died and learned. And that's assuming I actually do remember the lesson this taught me. You're really easy to evade. You telegraph your stuff ten years in advance and oh... Are you picking up a pattern? Remember that thing I always do where I taunt and mock the boss and then get fucking killed because of it? Yeah, that almost happened. Wait, I've just realised. Oh god! Alright then! I was about to say I just realised that buff you gave yourself doesn't just give you the ability to do bloody ranged attacks with that crap that you're currently doing, but you take less damage and actually deal more. And that's a ver- I was about to say that's a very easy thing to evade. Then I realised they actually do home in on you the closer they get. Didn't realise that and prayed the price because of it. But once again, lesson to be learnt. And just like those pencils you throw at the ceiling when you're in class and bored, you just gotta hope that it sticks. Ironic analogy, considering the fact that we we're talking about lessons that you wouldn't be paying attention to in that said analogy. Oh, hello again. I know it's been like four or five times already and I've disgraced myself considering the fact I did so bloody well the first time I'm just done consecutively- Consecutively? Significantly worse the more I do this. But hey, that's Dark Souls for you. You just lose your mind, turn hollow and forget all kind of sense. For instance, whoa, going in for an attack when he's doing a three combo fucking wind up. No, that was lucky. No, well, right then, maybe not. Oh, here we go again with this nonsense. I'm getting so sick of you buffing yourself when I get you down to half health, then it's as if you've just got a fucking full life bar again with the amount of damage you reduce. I mean, I'm not saying that's a terrible thing. I'm not saying it's not a good way to design a boss so it's absolutely fucking cheap, cheesy, and absolutely mean. But it's mainly just tricking- Ow, you fucker! It's mainly just tricking the player into thinking they're doing better than they actually are. If I just keep my distance, you're gonna do your hex attacks. Why the fuck did I think distance was a good thing? Get behind him. There's nowhere he can hit you if you're behind him. See? Flawless! Uh oh, I got greedy! No! Shit, that was really stupid. I always do that. Why? Just because you're behind him doesn't mean he can't hit you. That was freaking fortunate. Right, I need to heal, so please do something that equals you not doing much for a long time. Please? That, that'll have to do. Good thing you just stood there and did a back step for no real reason. Thank you. Oh, god damn it! I can't really get behind you in the situation we're in right now. Um... No, yes I can! That was some fucking serpentine shit! The timing with your attacks is absolutely amazing. Uh oh, I've healed in front of him. No, 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 Something I'm incapable of doing, apparently. I like how much damage these soul spears actually do. I don't like how much damage that does, however. 
I really do wish I had more Soulsbys as opposed to the other shitty smaller ones. And you will be going down on one knee, proposing your everlasting love to me, and applying the buff to yourself in about 3, 2, 1. There you go, I'm gonna get my Souls while you're doing that. Have. At. It. I am getting really sick and bloody tired of you doing that attack and then taking significantly less damage the more you do it. And I'm get oh, I'm getting even more sick of my character lust- Lusting? Okay then, lusting. We're lusting to the area behind you. We're madly in love with the ghost that has taken up the space that we just thrusted our sword into. Oh, piss off. It's alright, Mr. Royal Aegis, Mr. Veldstat. You are dead, Dudley. Ding! 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 Well, I timed that really wrong, didn't I? Paid the price for it by, um... Him having all of his health back now. Alright then, take 257. It's nice to see you. Once again, I'm getting sick of that. I took a mild break in between this try and the last one so I could get my goddamn breath back and hopefully my sanity and sense. So, real good thing that attack missed me, otherwise I would have gone to the conclusion that no, I had not gotten either of those back. Never mind. What? Really? Holy fucking shit. I'm not blaming the game. That was me. I just fucking completely mistimed the rolls. What the hell? And, uh-oh, oh fuck, got rid of all my stamina, that was really stupid. There's one thing I need to learn, it's stamina management, seriously. Okay, oh god, he's doing the hexes, just heal as much as you can and somehow get out of the way of it, please. Ooh. That was lucky. One attack, really? God, fuck. I didn't realise my health was low enough for him to one hit, oh wait, he buffed himself, of course he can. Idiot. It's a bit early, isn't it? Is that really damage you that much so soon? Good bloody lord. Usually takes a good minute or so for you to stand down on one knee and start buffing yourself. Good to know it's gonna take even longer to deal with you this time, thank you. And thrust into the... Wow. Wow. That... It's fine. Oh, what the, that did not hit me! Goodness gracious! I always say that, it didn't hit me, when quite evidently it did, I just refused to accept the fact I was too stupid to evade it. Uh-oh, please don't. Thank you! I can Gregor Cl- GAIN! The shit out of it. Really? Really? God damn it. That bloody bell chime had lost pretty much all momentum and the last frame of it hit me. Not blaming the game, blaming myself, just drilling it in how fucking stupid I am. What the- oh god! I didn't- uh, Wow! Or at least 175% paying the price because of it. For instance, using all of your stamina- What the- Oh my god! <laughs> Fine. Oh! Okay. Okay, there you- okay then, underest- Oh my fuck, have you learnt nothing from the past 30 minutes? It's got to the point where instead of reacting to the attacks he's currently doing, I start being a fucking soothsayer and starts predicting what he's going to do, and then die because I evaded in the wrong way and at the wrong time. I just realised I lost my souls because of that. I feel like I lost a lot, but still. Great. Something else to add onto the list of reasons to fucking hate yourself. Come on, there you go. Again, I evaded it directly in the direction that you were attacking me, and the fucking thing was going to land, but whatever, it worked out for the best. Let's not dwell on something that didn't come back to bite you in the arse. That's more like it. One more attack for good measure, equip this, get some distance, and then do it from range and safety, and as soon as he does a hex, just get behind him. That is how you beat this boss. That is how, because I say so. Damn it, you're gonna do your hex? Yes, you are. I can get behind you and dick around fucking equipping the wrong thing three times over. There you go. Beautiful. Quick, easy damage. Get away before he gets up. And beautiful. That almost got you. No, 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 no. Do, 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 do. Not a fan of that. Don't know if I've told you, but I'm really not a fan of that. That's it. Walk toward me instead of doing your hex. That'll get me. God! Oh, fucking the one pillar you didn't destroy blocked the bloody attack. You have such a hatred for these things and now they're protecting you. What kind of swerve is that? Uh-oh. I can't quite get behind you unless I do this. 
D-E-A, beautiful. Three sneaky attacks and get away. Oh, I was hoping you'd do the hex again, but you didn't. You're just running around in a circle. Beautiful. Be stupid. Be me. That's how I'll win. You can uh, you can absorb my stupidity and negligence for bloody preserving your own life, dude. The hex is that's it. Now I can get behind you. Stamina almost wasted. Oh, Jesus Christ. Probably going to regret doing that because of the wind-up. Okay. No! Uh-oh. Better do another attack. Okay. I, I'm trapped. I'm kind of not feeling too healthy back there. But never mind. Because you're dead. My fucking ridiculous amount of stupid noise every time you nearly killed me honestly gave me a little bit of indigestion. It was really what it felt like. I got an aching in my chest. That really hurt. Right then. I win. Now, editing-wise, this is usually where I'd skip ahead and show you an image of the next boss I'm fighting. Now I don't need to do that this time, do I? Looking forward to seeing me fight him for an eternity? I know I am. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, then don't forget to leave a like to broadcast the fact that you'd like to see more from this specific series. And if you enjoyed it to the point where you'd actually want to see more from this series, or this channel in general, then don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future installments. And should the sub boxes be failing you, as they do for most, then feel free to bookmark my video page and check back daily, as that's how often I provide content to you. Or alternatively, you you could follow me on any respective social media service you should desire as I update them all regularly with my videos as this site isn't actually known to be good at doing its job. So as always, your viewership and YouTube support will always be infinitely appreciated. And assuming you do indeed want to see more from me and the content I provide, then I will see you in the next video.